Hey camp, Coach Port here. We're gonna do some blind soccer dribbling and some passing. So follow along to these videos and then you can practice on your own. The first drill is toe touches. We are just touching the top of the soccer ball with the bottom of our foot. We're gonna rotate going back and forth between our right foot and our left foot. When you touch the soccer ball, you can roll it a little bit back and forth so you know where it is. Back and forth, left and right. The next drill is called TikToks. You are keeping the ball in between your feet, passing it back and forth, staying as stationary as possible, rolling the ball back and forth between the inside of your feet, back and forth. This exercise is rollovers. The ball will roll from the outside of your right to your left. Roll it over from the outside of your left and then to your right. It is rolling across your body. Your outside foot is rolling it across in front of your body. The next exercise is dribbling in space. So whether it's a room or if it's outside on the grass, you are doing close, quick touches as you're moving around. You should have a guide that is protecting you and going around your area so that way you are staying safe as you are dribbling and doing those close and quick touches. If you lose the ball, you can do some sweeping to try to find it. My guide is helping me to make sure that I am staying safe as I am dribbling around in my area. I am doing close, quick touches and keeping the ball moving. The next one is dribbling to a teammate, which can be a parent, guardian, or sibling. They are moving to an area and you are dribbling to them with your close, quick touches. They can use their voice or clapping to guide you to the area that they are. You're going to have your bumpers up so you are staying safe, dribbling to them. They will move to a different location in your safe space. And then you are gonna have your bumpers up and use those clo close, quick touches to move to them in the space. Right you here. should do this you go, right four to six times. The next drill is passing with a partner. Your partner can be a parent, guardian, or sibling. You are using the inside of your foot to pass the ball to your partner. You're going to pass the ball trap the ball, pass the ball, trap the ball, back and forth. Um, you can use the sound of the ball to help you find it in space for both you and your partner. The next drill is passing with the partner with movement from the partner. You will start with the ball in a safe space. Your partner will call for the ball. You will pass the ball to them and they will pass the ball back to you. They will move to a different location. They will call for the ball. You will find where their voice is coming from and you will give a pass using the inside of your foot to them. They'll pass it back to you. You'll trap the ball. They'll move to a different space and this drill will repeat. The next drill is passing with a partner with forward movement. You will be in line with your partner facing them you will pass the ball to your partner, take a couple steps forward, call for the ball. Your partner will pass you the ball in the space that you are in. Your partner, after passing the ball, will take a couple steps forward, call for the ball, and then they will receive the ball in space. You'll take a couple steps forward after passing the ball, call for the ball, and then you'll receive the ball. You'll keep moving back and forth like this. This drill is also known as wall passes. You go up and down, moving in a direction, and receive the ball, pass the ball, take a couple steps. Receive the ball, pass the ball, take a couple steps. Hey camp, Coach Port here again. Thanks for following along with these blind soccer videos.